Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this video I will tell you about symmetry constraints in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a truly free 3D CAD system that can be used for both hobby and commercial purposes. Anyone can use this system, just download FreeCAD, install it on your computer and you can start creating your own 3D models. We don't have to register anywhere, we don't have to provide our data, we simply download, install and create 3D models. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. And if you'd like to support my work and treat me to a virtual coffee, you can find all the details in the description below. Thank you for your support, and before we go any further, the videos where I show FreeCAD through examples may not cover all of FreeCAD's features in detail, so if you are just starting to learn FreeCAD, I have created a playlist of videos that are a good place to start. The link to the playlist is in the description below the video. Now let's move on to FreeCAD and I will tell you a few words about symmetry constraints. Symmetry constraint is one of the constraints available in the sketcher. When creating models in FreeCAD, we do it in such a way that these models are based on 2D sketches. So we create a 2D sketch which is a flat geometry and based on this geometry we build a 3D model. For such a model to be correct, the sketch must also be correct. Symmetry constraints and other constraints create geometric relations that ensure that the sketch is correct. I will now go to the sketcher module, which is the module where we create sketches based on which we create 3D solids. We will start a new sketch. I will create a rectangle here and select the centered rectangle command. I will draw this rectangle in such a way that the center of this rectangle is at the origin of the coordinate system and I will set the dimensions of this rectangle to 100 by 50 millimeters. Okay, right click to cancel this command. This rectangle is green, the sketch is fully constrained and this geometry is already fully defined. If I now create a second rectangle anywhere with any dimensions, this rectangle is white and this one has also changed color because the entire sketch is not yet fully constrained. When it comes to the dimensions and position of this rectangle, I can freely change the dimensions and position of this rectangle, but when it comes to this rectangle, I cannot change anything here. Now I will delete this rectangle as for the dimensions of this rectangle, we define them while drawing the geometry. But when it comes to the position of this rectangle, we defined its position in such a way that the center of this rectangle is constrained to the origin of the coordinate system. Additionally, in this rectangle, we also have a symmetry constraint applied, which specifies that this rectangle is symmetric relative to its center point. Now I will create two circles here. I will create one circle and I will create a second circle. Okay, right click and I have two circles. Their positions and diameters are not defined here, but I will add the diameter. I select the first circle, press the D key and enter 15 millimeters as the diameter. I will do the same with the second circle and enter 15 millimeters here as well and right click to cancel the dimensioning and these circles have no relations with each other. But I would like these circles to be the same distance from the Y axis. To do this, we can apply a symmetry constraint here. This constraint works in such a way that we first select the two elements we want to position symmetrically relative to some element and finally we select that third element. We can apply symmetry constraints between two points and a line or between two points and another point. Here I have selected the center of this circle, the center of this circle and the Y axis. Now I choose the symmetry constraint and at this moment we have a relation between these circles. When I change the position of one circle, the position of the other circle adjusts to the position of the first circle. We still haven't specified all degrees of freedom but we already have the symmetry constraint applied between these circles. Now we can select the centers of these circles and here we will add a dimension, for example 60 millimeters. 
right click to cancel the dimensioning and now I can only change the positions of these circles along the Y axis. We have specified a dimension between the centers of the circles. We also have a defined relation that the distance from the Y axis to this circle is the same as the distance from the Y axis to that circle. So we already have that position locked in. We just need to define the positions of these circles along the Y axis. We can do this for example by selecting this point, pressing the D key to specify the distance from the origin of the coordinate system, and I will enter 10 millimeters here. Right click, and in this way we have added another relation, and the sketch is fully constrained. Now I will create another example. I will create a rectangle with dimensions of 100 by 70 millimeters anywhere. OK, I right click to cancel drawing the rectangle. Now I would like to draw a circle in the center of this rectangle. We can easily do that. We draw a circle anywhere inside this rectangle. For example, a circle with a diameter of 30 millimeters. And right click to cancel drawing the circle. And the position of the circle is not yet defined. We can freely change the position of the circle. If I wanted to position this circle in the center of the rectangle, I could use a symmetry constraint relative to a point. In this case, I would like to place the center of the rectangle between this point and this point. Therefore, for this purpose, I select this point, select this point, and select the center of the circle. Then I choose the symmetry constraint. Now this circle is centered in the rectangle. If I want to change the position of this circle, the position of the entire geometry changes. Likewise, if I want to change the position of the rectangle, the position of the circle also changes because this circle is tightly constrained to this rectangle. Indeed, the symmetry constraint is one of the constraints that ensure the correctness of the geometry we create in FreeCAD. While creating such geometries, we should strive to ensure that the sketch is fully constrained. At this point, this sketch is not fully constrained because the position of this rectangle is not defined in relation to the origin of the coordinate system or in relation to other geometry. We have here two degrees of freedom. It is about the need to define the position of this rectangle along the X and Y axis. This is just an example in which I wanted to show you how the symmetry constraint works. Now, for instance, I will delete this rectangle. I select all the geometry press delete and now I select this point, select this point and choose the coincident constraint. This rectangle is now fully constrained. OK, I will also delete this rectangle and create a new rectangle. Here I will immediately place the first corner at the origin of the coordinate system and set the dimensions of the rectangle to 100 by 80 millimeters. I right click to cancel drawing the rectangle and at this moment the sketch is fully constrained because we have defined the position and dimensions of the rectangle. Now I will create auxiliary lines here. I will draw a line that will pass through the center of this rectangle. We can do this in two ways. We can use automatic constraints and here notice that when I hover near the middle of this side of the rectangle, a snap appears near the cursor indicating that a symmetry constraint will be automatically applied here. If I move away from the center of the rectangle, the coincident constraint will be applied instead. Here, look, I hover close to the middle of the side of the rectangle, click the left mouse button, and here the symmetry constraint has already been applied. We will do the same on the other side of the rectangle. I click here, right click, and here the symmetry constraint has been applied. The position of this line is already strictly defined. We cannot change either the dimensions or the position of this line because we have the symmetry constraint between these two points. We can also do something like this manually. I will draw a second line in any way. OK. I right click to cancel drawing the line. We can do it by selecting this point, selecting this point, and selecting this point, and choosing the symmetry constraint. Here we have defined symmetry between these points. We will do the same on this side. I select this point, select this point, select this point, and choose the symmetry constraint. This is how the symmetry constraint works. 
we can apply this constraint between two points and a line or between two points and another point. Here I select circle drawing again. I will create a circle with a diameter of 10 millimeters here. Okay. I will create another circle from this side also with a diameter of 10 millimeters and I will create another circle in this place also with a diameter of 10 millimeters. I right click to cancel drawing the circle and I would like these circles to be placed symmetrically relative to this line. I select the center of this circle, select the center of this circle, select this line and choose the symmetry constraint. Now these circles are already positioned symmetrically relative to this line. We will apply another symmetry constraint. I select the center of this circle, select the center of this circle, select this line and choose the symmetry constraint. Now this constraint works in such a way that these circles are symmetrical relative to this line and these circles are symmetrically arranged relative to that line. The symmetry constraint is one of the basic constraints and this constraint significantly simplifies creating correct sketches in FreeCAD. We will end this video here. This was a brief overview of symmetry constraints. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.